Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrarca in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this quiet, mild, and dry Tuesday evening, a little after 9.30, almost 10 o'clock, looking at Providence right now. It's a nice night. We have temperatures that are still mild. That's all about the change significantly, but many spots are in the uh, middle 60s, low to mid 60s. Still 67 in Providence. A pretty strong cold front's on the way, and what it will do is really knock down the temperatures next 24 to 48 hours. In the meantime, uh, we still have these fire weather concerns um, with uh, another red flag warning or fire weather warning that's been reissued for Wednesday. Quite simply, uh, very dry air, low humidity, dry brush, and a breezy condition. So any brush fires that were to start, and we had one small one today in Attleboro, it would tend to spread more rapidly because of these conditions that we're showing. So bottom line, there's just no outdoor burning, at least in through uh, Wednesday night. You want to be careful of discarding cigarettes, uh, the fire pits in the backyard and things like that. Not uh, uh, recommended. In the meantime, uh, we're going to stay dry, not a drop of rain through Friday. The next chance for any precipitation, you know, unfortunately, it does come on Saturday. We need the rain. You know, we're well below average, and we'll show that in just a second. And of all things, as warm as it was today, the potential, I would say, likely for some frost. Now, this is actually late, late Wednesday night, pre-dawn Thursday. Let me show you how chilly temperatures may get during that time. Well, first of all, I want to talk about the fire weather warning or the red flag warning reissued again for uh, Wednesday. Combination of gusty winds, low humidity and dry brush. So no outdoor burning. This goes into effect uh, Wednesday morning, 8 a.m. until Wednesday evening at uh, 8 p.m. And, you know, we need rain. Uh, so in the short term, you know, we, we've been dry the month of May. The last 12 of the six, last 12 out of 16 days have been basically dry, just barely a half inch of rain for so far for the month. Of course, the stronger May sunshine is able to dry things out, you know, the vegetation and the ground significantly. This is pretty strong sunshine. And the net result is, you know, dry brush, warm temperatures, the lack of rain and why things can catch fire very easily and why we want to be careful. All right, so the, the low temperatures later tomorrow night, Thursday morning. So we're going to start, um, let's start things Wednesday night at, this is 11 p.m., and then watch these numbers just tumble. By around 4, 5 o'clock in the morning, we're down to about 30 to 35 degrees. So a frost and freeze is uh, likely <clears throat> by daybreak Thursday. All right, here's the reason why. This blue line, where is it? Right in here. It's a pretty strong cold front. This is sinking to the south. And quite simply, this is the leading edge of cool to chilly air that will overspread the area starting on Wednesday, but really noticing it Wednesday night into early Thursday morning as this sinks off to the south. It'll be passing offshore shortly. So bottom line, here we are. First of all, Wednesday is a nice day. It's just cooler than average. So we've got sunshine in the morning at 9 a.m. Temperature in the 50s during the afternoon. Breezy, dry, very low, extremely low humidity. So dry, like desert dry air in place. Sunshine temperatures, you know, low 60s is the best we can do. And then here comes the big dropping temperature overnight pre-dawn Thursday, frosty cold dropping into the 30s. But sunshine gets to work on Thursday, warms us up into the low to mid 60s. So your Thursday afternoon, the weather is quiet. Thursday night, not nearly as chilly. And then here we are Friday morning, partly sunny, should be breezy and uh, milder on Friday. We'll get into the uh, mid to upper 60s. All right, so we are looking good uh, for your Wednesday. Uh, sunshine, uh, dry, cooler than where we were today. 11 a.m., we're up to 60. And uh, oh, the tree pollen is high um, once again. This is that time of year. But uh, we go for some sunshine, breezy, cool and dry for Wednesday afternoon. Temperature topping out in the uh, lower 60s. Bay forecasts with a dry wind out of the northwest, 10 to 15, gust to 20 knots, and the visibility unlimited. Beaches, plenty of sunshine, cool, dry, air temperature 64, and a water temperature at 54. So we're wrapping it up. Uh, Red flag warning, fire weather warning continues into Wednesday. Frost likely late, late Wednesday night into the pre-dawn hours of Thursday.